2011, an open letter entitled Ruach Jadida, A New Spirit for 2011, was published by young Mizrahi Israelis, descendants of Jews that lived in the Arab and Islamic world. It calls out to their peers in the Middle East and North Africa. We wish to express our identification with and hopes for this stage of generational transition in the history of the Middle East and North Africa, and we hope that it will open the gates to freedom and justice and a fair distribution of the region's resources. Orly Noy is one of the signatories of the letter. She immigrated to Israel with her parents from Iran after the revolution in 1979. I think that it's really about time that we pursue an uh, independent um, line of communication with the younger generation in the Arab world. Uh, I think that for many, many years um, the Israeli Mizrahis uh, have been torn away from their natural environment, which is the Arab Middle East. According to Orly Noy, one of the main reasons for this is... Zionist doctrine, which um, made it very clear that any um, indi indication of the Arab identity is uh, not very welcome. Rovena Bergil was one of the founders of the Israeli Black Panthers, a group of young Mizrahi Jews that fought against their oppression by the State of Israel in the early 1970s. He explains. Mizrahim cannot go back to their countries of origin that are considered enemy countries in the Zionist logic. Mizrahim not עד בהתחלה הם לא תופסים את גודל האסון ש, שקורה איתם. אבל במשך השנים המדינה הצליחה לבודד את הקבוצה הזו מההגמוניה ובנתה מערך שלם של הפרדה. This system was to a great extent based on educational segregation which prevented Mizrahi Jews from receiving the education needed for upward social mobility. Mizrahim were and still are caught in a dilemma between oppression and one sole privilege. המזרחי שלא נהנה משום פריבילגיה, אבל יש לו פריבילגיה קטנה על הפלסטיני, על היליד פה בארץ ישראל, שהוא נחשב ישראלי, מחזיק באזרחות ישראלית, הוא יכול להחזיק בנשק והוא יכול להרוג פלסטיני ברישיון של המדינה. ולכן הוא מרגיש כאילו שהוא חלק מה, מהפריבילגיה. The Mizrahi discourse in general is a very difficult one to generate in, in, in the Israeli public. I think that mostly the Israeli population looks very suspiciously uh, at the Mizrahi, the more radical Mizrahi discourse, certainly if it has any ambitions to reconnect with the Arab env environment. Uh, it doesn't sit well with the Israeli narrative. This includes Mizrahim. Samu lahem et ha-Palestini, shehu ha-oyev she me'akev et ha-kidma. Hu ha-oyev she lo me'afshir la-medina li-tiyatsev el ima Mizrahim. Therefore, it is not very surprising that... The letter was very widely um, published and discussed in many, many different Arab uh, means of communication, both... Uh, uh, on the internet and also in printed press and we actually got a lot of very positive reactions. Ironically it was much better received out of Israel than inside. As long as no one is willing to give up his privileges, social justice will not be achieved, says Rovena Bergil. <laughs> במדינת ישראל קבוצת אנשים שמוכנה לשלם את המחירות.